Hi, today we're going to talk about the Twilio integration with Virtual Agent and how to send SMS text messages back and forth to the Virtual Agent. First, you're going to need a couple plugins. So the plugins you need are the SMS conversation service channel and the SMS integration with Twilio. These are also store apps. This instance is on the Rome release and I'm going to click update for these store apps and return once that's done. Okay, now the other thing you'll need is the Twilio spoke. Yep, that's already installed. Great, now we're, start now we're able to we can get started. So the first thing you need to do is to um, set up our credential records for the Twilio spoke. Uh, there are three. Twilio Base, Twilio Notify, and Twilio Messaging. I'm going to follow the documentation while I do this. You can follow it along too. The title for the docs is Set Up the Conversational SMS Integration with Twilio. So let's go ahead to the uh, credentials page. So we want to go to here. And we'll have to create three records. So uh, let's create them one at a time. So we want uh, the type of credential to be base auth, basic auth. So uh, again, like we said, we need Twilio base notify messaging. So now for the username and password, you're going to need a Twilio account. So maybe that's a good time to talk about the Twilio account. So in order for you to integrate with Twilio at all, of course you need a uh, Twilio account. Uh, this is a trial account. Uh, it is free. Uh, you want to create a trial number, which they will provide for you automatically. And then you're going to get an account SID, which we will use later, and an auth token, which, which we will use later. Uh, don't share these details to anyone. Uh, this is for yourself. Uh, in the instance, uh, this one will be visible This uh, when you've entered, but the auth token will be invisible for a good reason. So let's go back to our credential record. And I gave it a name of Twilio Base. And for username, I'm going to paste in the account SID. And for the password, I'm going to paste in the auth token. Click Submit. Awesome. So uh, there it is. Now I'm going to do this again for both Twilio Notify and Twilio Messaging. All right, so now that we've done that, let's take a look what we've, what we've got. Twilio Base, Messaging, Notify, Basic Auth, SIDs. So the next step then is to create the connection records for the Twilio spoke. So we are going to go to Connection and Credential Aliases. And then we're going to find the record for the Twilio spoke. It's probably on the next page. Here it is. We have the three uh, credentials you created. And let's click into this one here. Twilio base, and then we're going to cre click create new connections. Now for name, we're going to call it Twilio base. For credential, we're going to use the credential that we just created. Uh, this is filled in for us. And then for, for connection URL, uh, if you visit the documentation, you'll see that the connection URL should be api.twilio.com. So uh, I'm just going to copy that from the documentation. There we go. And then account SID, same thing. We're going to use the same uh, account SID as from your Twilio account. Page size, doesn't matter, just put a one. And then for version, uh, don't touch this, just leave it as is and click submit. Great, and then we're gonna do the same thing for Twilio messaging. 
and notify. Create a new connection. Here, there's no need to put in the SID, but I will go ahead and call it Twilio Messaging. Put in the credential that we created. Copy the URL from the docs. In this case, it's messaging.twilio.com. Page side doesn't matter, just put in a one. Make sure it's act, make sure active is checked. It should be checked by default. Last one, notify, click new, call it Twilio notify. You know what, we're gonna call it Twilio notify connection. I probably should have added connection to the end for each one there. I'll go back and change that soon. And then for connection URL for this one, you want notify twilio.com again page size put a one okay so there you have it you've now created uh, connection records for the Twilio spoke one for each Twilio based notify and messaging I'm gonna go back to Twilio messaging I'm just gonna change this to connection just to make sure to call this out as a connection record and the same thing for base Great, awesome. So that integrates the uh, Twilio spoke to the instance. Now we're gonna go more into the authentication for the integration. So to do that, we are now gonna go create a hash message verification record. So to do that, we're gonna go into the uh, navigation here. I'm gonna manually type hash message verification. I'm going to go ahead and click New. I'm going to fill this out. I'm going to give it a name. The documentation suggests Twilio SMS Test App Auth Token. A good enough name for me. And for the secret, this is going to be the authentication token of your Twilio account. Okay, description, you don't have to put anything in there. But the documentation says to uh, put in Twilio SMS testing application auth token. So let's just go ahead and do that. Okay. Next, what we need to do is create a message auth record. So we're going to go to message auth. Click new. Name, we're going to call it a name. Let's see, I'm going to look at the, the docs again. Just call it this, and then for provider, we're going to type in Twilio. Uh, we don't have to fill any of this out. So for inbound message verification and for outbound message creation, we're going to input the hash message that we just created. So Twilio something. This one, Twilio SMS test app auth token, same thing here. This one I can leave blank and go ahead and click submit. And then the last step or one of the last steps at, in the ServiceNow instance, you will create, we will create a messaging provider application record. So. Uh, we're going to go to the SMS integration with Twilio page. Now, this way you don't need to type in the table name. You can just type in SMS integration. It pops up here. It is under conversational interfaces menu. Uh, this will be here once you install that store app that we did. So we'll click here and we will create a new record. Um, this is the name of the entity that users are going to be contacting. So if I'm typing, if I'm a user and I'm sending a text message to somebody, who is that somebody? For example, it will probably be an IT service desk. So I'm gonna put in IT service desk. And for the phone number, I'm gonna put in the Twilio trial number that I obtained. 
make sure you add in the plus and the one, the, the country code, area code, the whole thing. And then uh, message auth, this uh, is defaulted to a sample auth, but we, what we really want is the message auth that we just created, which was called this one. Default portal, don't need to touch that. Click Submit. Great. And now that is it. You are done uh, configuring the integration on the ServiceNow side. Now there's one more step we need to do. We need to go to the console for Twilio, and we need to add in a URL for the webhook for this number. So how do you do that? So we're going to go to Phone Numbers. Uh, we're going to go to Manage your active numbers. And you'll see this is a phone number that we have. So we're going to click into here. And then we need to add a URL here uh, for webhook. This is for voice. Probably need it only for messaging, but we'll do it for both just for good measure. So the URL you want to enter in, I'm going to copy from the docs. And it's this. Uh, slash API slash SNVA SMS Twilio slash message. And for instance name, I'm going to put in Victor Chat. And then I will definitely need to do it here for messaging, so do the same thing. All right, and click Save. And now you are done. So let's test this. Before I do, I do need to make sure that I have a topic that is active or that is uh, applicable to the SMS channel. So to do that, I'm going to go to Designer, to the VA Designer, and I'm going to make sure that one of my topics is uh, viewable on the SMS channel. Uh, let's pick a very easy one. This is a text-only topic that just you know says uh, some words about me. I'm going to go to Properties, and I'm going to go for Additional Channel Support. And I'm going to make sure that SMS is selected. OK, so now this is available on both web and SMS. Click Save. Click Publish. OK. So now, let's test our integration. So I have opened here an SMS app. Uh, Google Voice, and you can see I have started a conversation with the trial phone number that Twilio gave me, starting with area code 253. So I can start chatting with my virtual agent by typing hi. And you'll see that I now get the virtual agent uh, menu topics. So uh, including the one I just configured, which is about author, so I can run that topic by uh, typing in one. And this is the text that came with that topic. Is there anything else I can be assisted with? I'll just type no to end the conversation. And it'll likely send me a, a feedback survey, which I've set to uh, enabled. And again, I can type one, two, or three, and one. Returning to the home screen, I'm going to show you how to set up Agent Chat with SMS. So first, you have to have Agent Chat plugin installed and the default Agent Chat configured. And then you have to make some uh, other changes. The first thing we have to do is go to Service Channels, and make sure that the SMS Service Channels is set to True. Active set to True. And we want to make sure that the queue is set up, which it should be. And within your queue, you want to make sure that your Agent SMS group is set up, and that the Agent SMS group has members. In this case, we have one member, Beth Anglin. The other thing we need to check is our presence state. So for the presence state of available, 
We also want to make sure that SMS is one of the selected service channels. So once that's done, you're ready to uh, receive SMS messages uh, as an agent. All right, now let's test what we just configured to integrate agent chat with SMS. So in my SMS, I'm going to start a conversation. And on the right hand side, I am set up my workspace as an agent, Beth Anglin. So I'm going to start a live chat. And Beth receives my request, which I will accept. And now I can start typing. The one thing to note is that because I'm not logged in, I'm a guest, so that's why the user ID is G. When I'm done, I'll just type bye, just like I would a virtual agent chat, which will then end the conversation for both sides. And that's uh, agent chat with SMS.